Planet Earth, 7.3 billion people, all with the same needs. No matter who you are and where in the world you live, there is one thing we all have in common. We all need food, water, clothing, and shelter. And wherever you go, you have to pay for it. Humanity's number one common denominator is money. Money creates a sense of security. It shows us a way to accomplish our dreams and therefore most of us end up spending half a lifetime chasing money to pay bills, make a living and meet our needs. Money not only helps us accomplish our dreams, it's also an instrument of destruction and some associate it with greed, lies and criminality. Money is both the champion of the good and bad, and to many, it still remains a mystery. It's a fact that regular currencies today are not backed up by anything but our own beliefs, and central banks globally are holding our future in their hands with a tight grip. Money means power, and this information can truly empower you if you are willing to be open-minded and learn the truth about money. The financial crisis 2008 almost brought down the world's financial system. Central bankers and other regulators bear responsibility for mishandling the crisis. Many people and companies were bankrupt overnight, but at the same time, great opportunities were born. There is always two sides of a coin. And after centuries of economical challenges, we are about to discover that there are better ways. Out of the crisis 2008 grew one of the greatest financial opportunities ever, and it challenged the whole monetary system in a heartbeat. It was created and born out of years of frustration and distrust to the banking and monetary system. Cryptocurrency was a fact. Bitcoin's blockchain was written 2008, and despite criticism by financial regulators, institutions, governments, and media, it had a tremendous increase in value. Only between 2009 and 2013, the value of a single coin went from 0.1 US dollar to over 1,100 US dollars. People who had invested in Bitcoin became multimillionaires over a very short period of time, and it's probably one of the most discussed economical successes ever in financial history. One of them was a young Norwegian man who invested 26 US dollars, only to forget all about it. A couple of years later, his modest investment of 26 US dollars had turned into over 850,000 US dollars. It was an expensive lesson for anyone who was introduced to Bitcoin at an early stage, but who turned it down. What if new technology allows everyone in the world to be their own bank, free from taxes and banking fees? Cryptocurrency is built on math, technological computer software with a shared code that connects a global network through the internet. But how do we know it can be trusted? Traditionally, we are programmed to rely on trusted third parties like banks, credit card companies and remittance services as they keep track of the money being transferred from one to another. And we are being charged tremendously for it. We are in the habit of paying big money for something that could be free of charge. Most trust banks so dearly that they think they are solid, honest and reliable. But what if there are ways that can cut out these middlemen, charging us huge amounts that are cheaper, safer and faster? While many people associated with anonymous black market trading, it is actually far from transparent than you may realize. Just think about it. Today you can easily copy and download music and movies online. And cryptocurrency is digital, just like music and movies on internet. So listen closely as this is key to understanding cryptocurrency.
can you trust that your digital money will not be downloaded as easily as your favorite songs? How can a digital currency retain its value and not be copied online? The interesting thing is that cryptocurrency is not a file on the computer. It is, rather, an entry in the public distributed database called the blockchain. Let's compare it to today's banks. They keep ledgers of each transaction with a plus and a minus in databases. With cryptocurrency, bank accounts are replaced by an e-wallet where you alone can control it. The ledger of a cryptocurrency is the blockchain. The blockchain or the ledger of a cryptocurrency keeps a record of every coin and every transaction ever made. And it always balances since the amount of coins is non-changeable and no coin will ever leave the system. When one coin is sent somewhere, what is really being sent is the control of the database with a code that is a unique key for that specific transaction. As transactions are made, the ledger, the blockchain, is constantly synchronized across the globe. Each user in the entire network has an identical copy, and since the blockchain is public, it cannot be controlled by any person. There is no single point of failure. To hack the blockchain, hackers would have to target thousands of computers across multiple geographic locations, all at the same time. It may not be impossible, but it is made much more difficult and is a lot more secure than the present banking system. The whole system has the potential to replace banks and bankers worldwide. Many people are happy with the system we have today simply because they don't understand it or simply because they cannot grasp the amount of money we pay our current financial system in fees on a yearly basis. Cryptocurrency is the total opposite of the banking system today as it is completely transparent and no one can change either the amount of coins or the mathematical rules dictating the creation after the mining has started. Cryptocurrency is therefore, through the limited amount of coins, impossible to inflate. Cryptocurrency truly holds the potential to make our world more fair. Today, billions of people are living without a bank account while many more have a smartphone. That can give you access to a global personal banking system through the technology of cryptocurrency, banking for everyone. Cryptocurrency is to banking what the internet was to telephony. The most exciting thing about it is not anything that we have seen yet, but what it will become in the future.